back before there was meaningful environmental regulations regarding how you manage your waste and how to properly manage it and manage it safely, it was not uncommon for waste to be managed in an uncontrolled situation. And Valley of the Drums was one of those particular situations. Drums were simply laying on the ground, not managed at all, leaking, and it was running off and getting into Wilson Creek, which led to Salt River. Valley of the Drums located in Bullitt County, Kentucky, and it received drummed waste from various and sundry industries in the area. EPA came into Kentucky and did basically a three-tiered action at this particular site. The, the runoff issues were addressed, the drummed waste was removed, and now it's under a cap. We have ongoing responsibilities as a state. We do uh, annual operation and maintenance checks. We report to EPA annually. Every five years, we go back to see if the remedy is still in place and still working. If you were to visit the site today, it would look uh, substantially different than it did if you visited the site in 1977. Most of the 23-acre site is wooded. The area where the actual capping is at is just a sole cover. It looks nothing like it did back in the day. But not only does it not look like that, in reality, it's, it's not like that anymore. It's not just an aesthetic change. Valley of the Drums and Love Canal were key in giving rise to the federal Superfund laws that we now have. Despite the fact that it's unfortunate that these activities occurred there, the EPA and the state have taken necessary actions to make it protective of human health and the environment, and it will be a site that we'll have to continue to monitor into the future.